Dear friends, we go to the third point for this meditation on marriage for this Sunday, 9th of August 2020. And the third text comes from, as I already told you, from Matthew's Gospel, 19th chapter, verses 3 to 6. It is a discussion between the religious leaders of the time of Jesus and our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. It was the question of divorce. It was the question of divorce. They came and asked to him. But the Lord says to them very clearly that it is not... Um, it, 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 you know, it, it says, uh, um, Jesus answered, Have you not read that one who made them at the beginning, made them male and female, it is 4th verse of 19th chapter, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. They, therefore, they are no longer two, but one. Uh, that, that is the answer that Jesus gives. The, the title which I have written in my diary is Marriage of Equality. Marriage of Equality. So first of all I said uh, partnership, koinonia. Secondly I said uh, honorability, timos. And uh, finally it is equality. In Greek it is isoteta. Isoteta or isoteta, whatever you try to pronounce. And uh, I would like to bring Genesis 1.27 as the basis for this as well. Genesis 1.27 as I clearly told you at the beginning, there are two stories. There are two stories. First chapter has one story and the second chapter of Genesis has another story. I always like to have the first story as the basis. Because in the first story, in 127, God made them equal. God made them together. In the second story only, it was uh, God who made uh, Adam first and then uh, God made uh, uh, Eve next which is used by Paul in uh, a few places uh, uh, in the epistles uh, for, for uh, supporting uh, the inequality. Paul supports inequality. But here Jesus supports equality by quoting the first story of Genesis 127. Therefore, my dear friends, be careful. Uh, is it uh, Paul or Jesus you quote? If you quote Paul, it is the second story, inequality. But if you quote G uh, Jesus, it is the first story of equality. I hope and pray that uh, you will all understand uh, what I am trying to tell. Therefore, my dear friends, it is the marriage of equality. Why there is no why there is no peace in the uh, family? Because there is no equality. Why there is always tension in the family? Because there is no equality. And uh, Ephesians 5.21 is clearly saying that be obedient to each other. But there are pastors who read uh, from 5.22 only in the marriage services. But I always read from 521 because it is common to both that husband should obey uh, wife and obey should, uh, wife should obey husband. Equality, equal uh, obeying. That is the thing which we read in Ephesians 521, my dear friends. And uh, I would like to tell you the experience uh, in uh, the wedding services. You know, for the past 40 years after my uh, ordination, uh, I have been uh, uh, practicing one thing in all my uh, wedding services. You know, in the wedding service of the CSI in Tamil, it says, in the Pennai Thirumanathil Kodupavariya. Immediately, the father of uh, uh, the bride will come and uh, uh, give her uh, in hand to the uh, bridegroom. Even the mother doesn't come. But nowadays, I am happy after all my insisting practices, 
nowadays we are asking that who gives this bridegroom and the bride in the manamaganayum in the manamagalayum thirumanathil kodupadu yaar both the parents of both the parties both the bride and the bridegroom they come and they give their hands in marriage that is equality that is equality this is how it must go so my dear friends let me finish my third point marriage of equality let me bring all the three points once again marriage of partnership koinonia marriage of honorability or marriage of honor it is timos in greek and finally marriage of equality isotheta which has uh, equal um, partnership with each other may god bless all our married life may god bless our families may god bless um, both a husband and the wife parents and children and uh, let there be peace in the family may god bless all of us amen